trust your first impression. What do you see? Beautiful waterfall. Beautiful waterfall. Mm. Tell me more. By the grass, alongside the grass is so soft. Yes. How high is this grass? Mm. It's not high at mm -hmm. all. It's mm -hmm. more like, feels like a lawn or just a mm -hmm. really wonderful bed to lay on and Get some deep rest. Mm -hmm. so I'd like for you to go ahead and lie down on that beautiful grass and listen to the sound of that waterfall. Just absorb it all in. Feel the sensation. Perhaps you can even feel some of that mist. <sighs> and as you're there, look all around you and tell me, what is this place? It's a healing place. Mm -hmm. It's a healing place. It's pink orbs mm -hmm. coming off of the water. Mm -hmm. So let's find out what the, these orbs are coming to do for you today. I'd like for you to connect with them. And let's find out why they're there with you. Just reminding me of how loved I am. Mm -hmm. I release limitations to rest. So these orbs, do they know you? I don't know. Let's find out. Let's find out the connection between you and these orbs. Connect with them mind to mind and soul to soul. And let's see if you know each other. It's love. Mm -hmm. Just love. Just love. What else do these orbs have to tell you today? I've always been there, always been with me. Mm -hmm. Do these orbs take on different forms? No, they're round. Mm -hmm. So they've asked you to release your limitations? Yes. <laughs> so let's begin today. Let's release those limitations and allow yourself now to go to the place where you're meant to gain this knowledge. I'd like for you now to close the scene and we're going to go to traveling through time and space to go to those that have brought you here today to get information. So allow yourself to go through traveling through time and space and be there now. What do you see next? Where are you? To the ship. Mm -hmm. To the ship. Describe this ship for me. A room is the perception of a room, very tall, wide, open, limitless. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. What do you mm. see? The more you talk, the more you'll see. There's Looks like people sort of hurrying. Uh, sort of scurrying around, preparing smaller ships. Mm -hmm. What do these people look like? It's like humans. Mm -hmm. They have uniforms. Mm -hmm. 
And as the observer, what do you look like? Just consciousness mm -hmm. observing. All right. So as consciousness, you'll be able to follow and see why you're here today. What's the importance of this day? A little bit of an urgency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's happening today on the ship? It's preparation. Mm -hmm. What's being prepared? The other smaller vessels to go exploring. How many smaller vessels do you see? There's many. Mm -hmm. I'd like for you as consciousness to connect with those on the ship and let's find out what's the reason that they're going exploring today. What's the, what's the mission? I don't know. If you knew the answer, what would it be? Observation of dimensional stratas mm -hmm. and time. Mm -hmm. So all of these ships are there to observe? They're going exploring, mm -hmm. finding new information. Let's find out how you are part of this. What is your role on this ship? like for me to be on one of the smaller vessels. All right. So allow yourself now to close that scene and see yourself on that small vessel. Be there now. What do you see? It's moving through. Mm -hmm. Darkness. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Who's in this ship with you? This I'm vessel? I'm alone. You're alone. In this vessel, do you have a form? Take a look. What's piloting this vessel? Consciousness. Mm -hmm. Do you have a physical body on this ship? Yes. Mm -hmm. So take a look at the easiest part to see. Take a look at your feet or your hands. What do you look like? Three fingers, mm. I can't see my feet. Mm -hmm. Three fingers. Describe your hand for me. What does it look like? It's the texture of one of the tall grays. Mm -hmm. It's okay. Mm -hmm. Tell me what you mean by that. of the personality that doesn't want to accept. Mm. So let's 
Allow yourself to go deeper into this. Go deeper into this sleep. And let's find out what you're wearing in this ship. Is there a special uniform or outfit that you wear? No. No. What do you look like? I would most perceive as a gray. Mm-hmm. All right. Do you perceive yourself to be male or female? We don't have sex. We don't have sex. All right, so let's find out where it is that you're going to now. What's your mission? Observation. Mm -hmm. What are you observing today? New discoveries. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. There's reverberations taking place that are creating imbalance and we're going, some of us are going, it's just a mission. Mm -hmm. just to observe mm -hmm. how the outer portals are being affected. Mm -hmm. And what's causing these reverberations? Imbalances. Mm -hmm. Is this a natural thing? No. No. Has it been created? It's been manipulated. Mm -hmm. Who do you imagine is manipulating this? Forces, other forces. Mm -hmm. Do you know who these forces are? It's just energy. It's all energy. Mm -hmm. Separation from the greater mission. Mm -hmm. What is this greater mission? Unification. Mm -hmm. Source. Now, as you go on this mission, are many of you going to the same place or do you expand out? We're exploring to see how these the thought forms create waves mm -hmm. that impact outer reaches mm -hmm. and we're just exploring as far as we can to see what has how it's all being impacted mm -hmm. can you measure these thought forms is there a way to measure it? There's wavelengths. Mm -hmm. And where are these thought forms being created? Where is it coming from? Earth is one place. Mm -hmm. It's just a misalignment. Okay. Now, when, as explorers, do you have anything to do with correcting the imbalance? No, we just gather mm -hmm. data, information, and bring it back. Okay. Do you go by any particular name? No. No. So let's find out now what happens next. I'd like for you to close this scene. And I'd like for you to now go to another significant point in your lifetime when something very important has happened. Be there now.
Where are you? In the living room. Mm -hmm. Tell me more. It's at my parents' house. How old are you there? Fifty something. Mm -hmm. Feel unsupported. It's a meeting. Mm -hmm. Family. What's happening? It's discussions regarding my parents, mm -hmm. finances. What's the importance of this scene? Lack of understanding. Mm -hmm. Tell me what's happening. What's the discussion about? Finances, mm -hmm. caretaking. Mm -hmm. It's done. Mm -hmm. This was just to outline to her the lack of a feeling inside of her of a lack of support mm -hmm. sometimes that she feels feeling like she's going about it all alone mm -hmm. so you showed her this to tell her it's okay yes to mm -hmm. move on to move on who is supporting her during this time her guides her guides who is guiding her? Mary guides her. Mary? Mm -hmm. Is this Mother Mary? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Who else guides her? Kuan Yin. The angels. Mm -hmm. They're shamans. There's old teachers. There's wise ones. Many. There's many. Where are they all guiding her to? Or towards? Movement. Is she moving or is she standing still right now? It's fearful. Mm -hmm. what, what caused this fear? The lack of support. Mm -hmm. Is this from her family? Yes. Mm -hmm. So now that you see that that's done with, Was it for that situation or for all of it? It was for all of it. Mm -hmm. So what was the importance of that completion at that moment? She needs to move beyond to know that she has the capacity to do all that she sets her mind to mm -hmm. and not to be held back. Why is this technology issue holding her back? That seems to be the greatest fear. She's fear of what some of these 
other forces that she's aware of on other consciousness levels how they can harm harm herself Mm -hmm. harm others at times when there is too much information regarding the expansion of our creativity at this time it will happen she doesn't need to fear it's it's destined Mm -hmm. what is she destined to be doing (coughs) supporting others now Mm -hmm. supporting others in their own expansions so that was her purpose that's what she felt it was <clears throat> is she going about it the best way she's holding back mm-hmm. while she's holding back where is this affecting her her throat mm-hmm. her colon mm-hmm. So this sluggishness that she feels in her body, is that part of it? Yes, it is. Mm -hmm. So it has nothing to do with the food. It's energy. It's all energy. Mm -hmm. So she's not allowing it to flow. Correct. Mm -hmm. So it's kind of like an energy constipation. Somewhat. Mm -hmm. In her throat, in her system. It's a way for her body to tell her she needs to move with it. So, if you would take a look inside her body, and let's see what this energy looks like. Does it have a color, a texture? There's darkness, Mm -hmm. density, black, brown. Mm -hmm. Now, did she create this, or is it from outside forces? The throat is on the right side. There's toxins. Mm -hmm. How is that manifesting in her body? Creating sluggishness in the right lymphatics. Could you begin working on those toxins today? Yes. All right. What would you like to use today to give her an idea of what it looks like? I just use light. Mm -hmm. Is there a particular color? Deep royal blue. Mm. Beautiful. Does she feel anything while you're doing this? It's going down her arm. Mm-hmm. The sensation in her right breast. Is that the same thing? Yes. Mm-hmm. Let her know what you're doing so she has it recorded. Cold compresses between and her underarm and the right side of her right breast. Mm -hmm. You're using cold? Yes. Mm -hmm. What is the reason for the cold compress? supports the energy in moving. Okay.
will this that you're doing affect her digestive system? Or is that something else? It's a separate. Separate, okay. She's being told what to do every day mm -hmm. to support this movement on a physical level. Mm -hmm. As far as food is concerned? The gentle massage in her body. Okay. Type of movement she needs to do every day. Mm -hmm. Two forms. What kind of movement does she need to do? She's going to be swinging her arms around, twisting from one side to the next very rapidly, creating the vortex. Mm -hmm. It will also help with physical congestion. She'll be anchoring her back, and arching her back more, laying across on a blue ball, it will align the colon back to where it needs to go. Mm -hmm. There is nothing serious here. Okay, good. Now what about her diet? Ever since she's left home, she's been eating things that are kind of bloating her. Could you help her with that? She knows. Who helps her with the diet? Is there any particular guide? Elementals mm -hmm. and plant kingdoms where the source mm -hmm. of her energy needs to come from. She's known for many years to release and just eat less and less and less animals, just mm -hmm. aware. Mm -hmm. What about the dairy? How does that affect her? Negatively. Negatively. So when she has any type of cheese or... Stagnation. Mm. Does that reflect in her body then? Yes. That's why she has bloating? Yes. Okay, so stay away from the, the dairy. Yes. Mm -hmm. Anything else that would cause her harm? No heavy oils. Mm -hmm. As in frying? Correct. Mm -hmm. Anything else about her body that we need to take care of today? Her left wrist. Mm -hmm. What's going on there? Inflammation. Mm -hmm. what, what's happening with her wrist? Why is it inflamed? Just some anger at not being supported. Mm. Does she need to have that inflammation there anymore? No. Would you begin working on that? Yes. Thank you. Let me know what you're using so that she can have it recorded. Small pellets, it's done. It's done, thank you. 
I wanted to get back to that original topic that we were talking about, about her supporting other people and her way of doing more. Is there another more effective course or action that she should be taking? Gaining more knowledge, for example. What should she do? Needs more rest, more quiet time to herself. Mm -hmm. To enjoy her books and her stones. The knowledge becomes imprinted. And she gets the insights to the creative integration which leads to the manifestation in the outside world it's softer mm -hmm. needs to be a little softer with herself a little kinder no need to work so hard the old forms are not working mm -hmm. so more relaxation more just reading and it deepens rest. the work okay travel is very good for her mm -hmm. she wants to spend more time traveling between both her daughters would that help her yes mm -hmm. now she tells me that she feels unfulfilled at times is this because she's working so much yes mm -hmm. What's the best way for her to work? Write. Mm -hmm. Should she be writing that book? She can begin. Mm -hmm. Paint. Teach. All that she loves. Share. She has a great gift for connecting others. She has a gift of humor she uses. Mm -hmm. And she loves doing these group regressions. Should she be yes. doing more of that? She enjoys that. It will serve for now. Mm -hmm. So we get back to the main problem that she focuses on, is learning to embrace technology. What has caused so much resistance about this topic? She thinks she can't learn. For one, mm -hmm. it's her own block. Mm -hmm. She also participated. And sees the destruction. Mm -hmm. technology created mm -hmm. can you show her that lifetime so that she understands where the block is would you show her a picture of that lifetime everything started shaking and the waters rose very quickly Mm -hmm. When was this? This was in Atlantis. Mm -hmm. What was her role there at that time? There were great technological changes being somewhat pushed upon the people without their knowledge mm -hmm. created what, much destruction. What kind of technology are we talking about that can be pushed on people? Manipulations. Energetic manipulations. Mm. Where were these where was this energy coming from? There was an infiltration that took place in the wills of others she didn't know 
she blames herself for some of this destruction. She's very weary mm -hmm. that things like this can happen again. Mm -hmm. And she does not want to participate in that. She wants to support humanity now, at this time. No more destruction. So let's find out what her role was at that time, why she felt responsible. Take her back to show her who she was. There were many that worked on this project. Mm -hmm. She is so hard on herself. Mm -hmm. It was shocking when it happened. She didn't see it coming. Was this energy too powerful? It was being misused. Mm -hmm. Technology cannot be for technology's sake. The intentions behind our technological progress must always be questioned. Mm -hmm. Only use it for love and enhancement of the greater good of all the dimensions. There are so many you are not aware. Now that she understands that this is why she has this hesitation and she also now has the understanding that technology needs to be used with love, can she not see that she can play a role in enhancing the way technology is used to spread her love? Yes. Mm -hmm. She knew that now, mm -hmm. just before you said it. Mm -hmm. And that she could actually use it to help clean up some of this karma. That is correct. Mm -hmm. So can we begin working now in clearing this karma under with this understanding that she gave herself another opportunity to use technology for love, the spreading wisdom, the spreading the light with her humor and her love and her knowledge. There is much grief mm -hmm. in the physical body. Mm -hmm. she release. Would you allow me to release that for her? Yes, please. All right. I'm going to put my hand over her heart and I'm going to use a rose quartz crystal to amplify the experience today. I'm going to put the rose quartz over her heart and put my hand over that. And I want you to go ahead and begin releasing from your body, from your DNA, from every lifetime that has impacted you. Bring out that information, that blockage, that grief. Knowing now that you've been given another opportunity, another chance to use your life, your wisdom, your knowledge to expand to so many people. But you cannot do that while you're writing it on grief from so many lifetimes. So let's pull all of that out from your DNA and send it back to Source. Will it be cleansed and loved? And tell me when I have it all. when it's all out. It 
it's over now. Very good. So now that all of that grief is out, what would we like to replace that grief with? What would we like to put in that will fill her? Support and knowledge. All right, so let's, I'm going to put my hand over your heart and let's begin filling it with support and knowledge from the universe directly from source, filling all of her cells, all of her DNA. In this lifetime and every other lifetime she's ever lived, in every other dimension, space, and time. Let's fill that all in so that she will now move forward knowing that she has support and love to carry on her mission in this lifetime. And I'm going to touch your forehead and let's seal that in. And now I'd like for you to tell me, how does that look now? Light. Very good. Very good. So now that we have that out of the way, she wants to get some more information, a closer, more meaningful relationship with the Arcturians. Now when we first started off this session, she saw herself on a spaceship, on a vessel. Did this have anything to do with her Arcturian friends? Yes, she is one of them. Mm -hmm. It seems like she had some resistance in acknowledging that. What'd you tell her about these Arcturians? They're just other beings. Mm -hmm. <sighs> wisdom. Mm -hmm. They are wiser. They are wiser? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're just more dimensionally evolved. And it's okay to trust now. It's okay to trust. What are they here to teach her or remind her of? Just that she is one of them and can access that higher wisdom and information as she moves in the great awakening. But know that she does not need to take responsibility the level of responsibility that she has been taking both in the previous life in Atlantis and now in this life mm -hmm. to lighten the load to enjoy the playful side the humorous side of herself for this is healing light and energy as well mm -hmm. Now, when she accesses information, is she accessing the information from others or from herself as an Arcturian? It is more from us. Mm. But she can converse with others. The energies exchanges need to come from more similar thought forms that she resonates with. Mm -hmm. It can get tiring doing the work that she feels she's doing by saving or rescuing others. Mm -hmm. That needs to let go her own expansion it will create the healing ripples. Mm -hmm. Now isn't it true that they are healing themselves? Correct. She's aware. So, by just shifting the way she does her work, knowing that she's just holding the space for them, and they are healing themselves, would that allow her to be more fun, more humorous, more lighter with herself? Yes. Mm -hmm. 
She does do that. It's the attachment to some outcomes ah. that she's unconscious. Mm -hmm. So what can we do today to create perhaps an automatic recycling system to where once a client leaves, it automatically slips away without attaching to her? Would that benefit her? Yes. Mm -hmm. So would you tell me what would be the best system that we can use? Sometimes we can imagine a toilet. When you use the toilet, you flush it, it goes away. It benefits you for that moment and flushes it away. We can imagine a disposal in your sink where at the end of the day you can remove all of the particles in your sink and flush it down. We don't need to hold on to anything that's not in our own life. So what would be the best thing for her to imagine in order for her to release this subconsciously? Toilet would be a good one for mm -hmm. her. Mm -hmm. The other would be movement, mm -hmm. much physical movement mm -hmm. in between. Her teachings, mm -hmm. her coaching, counseling. Mm -hmm. Real physical movement. Mm -hmm. Can we perhaps create a ritual in which she can wash her hands after each session and allow all of the energy from that session to drain down the sink? That would be movement and allow the energy to flow back to Mother Earth. She can do that. She mm -hmm. does that. Mm -hmm. She needs to do that more consciously. Okay. Would you remind her of that? Yes. Very good. What else would you recommend as far as movement is concerned? That movement that we've explained to her, of her swinging her arms loosely and moving her torso mm -hmm. from side to side. To create that vortex. Correct. Good. Anything else? She can also do that while laying on the floor. Mm, okay. Bringing her knee to one side of her body and creating a twist back and forth. Mm -hmm. Good. Thank you. As far as her career is concerned, she says she's fearful being in the public eye. Is that from Atlantis? That's right. Mm hmm and wants to know if she continues to work with small groups. Can she work with them as far as regressions and the crystal grid and sacred geometry, etc.? Would that help? It's a beginning. Mm -hmm. She'll be moving beyond that. Mm -hmm. Is this something that will be channeled to her automatically, or does she already know that? It will be given to her in, okay. in time. Good. And when can she start channeling? She's doing it. She knows. Mm -hmm. What about in public? She'll feel it organically. Okay. So don't push herself. She'll automatically do it. That's right. Okay, good. And you'll also help her write that book? She resists taking the time to sit. Mm -hmm. So 
So when is the best time for her to sit and do it? She's begun creating the time. Mm -hmm. We've made changes in her schedule. So you'll help her once she starts? She knows. Okay. She's already doing this anyway, isn't she? Yes, she has. Yes. Now, Anna feels that there's a change coming in her life. She's wondering what it's about, whether it's moving, traveling, being more with her granddaughter. What is this change that she's feeling in her gut? It's all of the above. Can you give her more, more information? There ex is expansion. Mm -hmm. The details would overwhelm her at this time. Mm. Well, her husband is planning on retiring soon. She doesn't want to go back to getting her certification in different states. What is the best way to go about doing more traveling and working in other places? Stay with her metaphysical teachings. Okay. Attaining more herself and do what she does to do naturally, which is sharing mm -hmm. in a lightness of spirit. Yes. Okay. Now, you didn't show her too much of her past lives today. What was the purpose, the main purpose, that you brought her here today? To know she is loved, supported. Releasing the fears. Have we done that today? This is a very, very good start. Mm -hmm. Who will continue to support her in releasing these fears even more? Her deeper listening, creating the time for the dimensional wisdom to come forward. Explore all that she needs without fear. Surround herself with a continued growing community of light workers. Mm -hmm. Will she be spending more time with these light workers? It's a must. Mm. So she needs to really be a gatherer also of these light workers. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's an important role for all of you. Mm -hmm. Any other information you would like to give Anna today that's important? We brought her for a, for a very important session here today. Do not fear expansion. Contraction is a loss of light. Mm. And as you all unite and expand together in support and wonder of one another without judgment witnessing and observing each other moving forward to do all that you are being called to do and contracted to do. The love will just grow effortlessly. Wonderful. Now would you go through her body Align her chakra. Seal her aura. Let me know if there's anything else we need to work on today. New discoveries.
open to new discoveries. Be open to new discoveries. Yes. Good. Good. Is there anything else that I could have asked that you'd like to tell her? Or are we complete? We are complete. Thank you very much. Wide awake now. Wide awake feeling wonderful all over. <laughs> Welcome back. Thank you. How do you feel? Awesome. <laughs> a little bit different, That's huh? great. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got a lot of healing done there. Yeah. How did those like scenarios a... pan out for you? Good? Yeah. I think that subtle energy as well. You feel it? In yeah. Your body? Yeah. Terrific. Yeah. We talked about That's a lot good. of stuff. Mm -hmm. It seems like they packed it into a, whatever you needed. It didn't go off into too many different things. The Arcturians? Yeah. That one was a little hard pill to swallow. Yeah. That was hard for you. I think it's always been a residual there in the back of yeah. my mind. and You were doing important work then, and you still are. Yeah. You're still connected. It's like you never finished your mission. You're just mm -hmm. in a different body. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, once yeah. you listen to the recording, you'll understand that there's a lot of stuff going on. Mm -hmm. You were working on it before. And now you're working on it from this side. It is dimensional, mm -hmm. multi-dimensional. Yeah. Feels like a little, yeah, propelled a little bit. Yeah. 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 Yeah, it's okay. And I think as you, you know, listen to the recording and keep going back to this, I think you'll, you'll, you'll start, like, feeling part mm -hmm. of that more. Mm -hmm. I think it was almost like the shock of it. You know, like, hmm. Huh. What is this? Well, it was shocking when I first saw them. Yeah. I didn't know... Who they were. It's your family. Or why they came. <laughs> <laughs> like, why me? Because you're one of them. Yeah. Put my nightgown on the right way <laughs> next time. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pretty wild, huh? It's very wild. Yeah. So, so how long do you think the session was? How did it feel? Um, it felt good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. How much time? Maybe about an hour and a half. Mm -hmm. It's actually even shorter. Mm. Just over an hour. Hmm. We get a lot done in a very short period of time. Mm -hmm. So how do you feel? Feel good. Yeah? Yeah. You want to keep this private? This session private? What do you think? It doesn't matter. It's up to you. Mm -hmm. Ah! <laughs> So this is a Some, this is a really interesting session. Yeah, it was. It was fast. Mm -hmm. So tell everybody why you came to this session. Uh, it was the um, mis uh, information that mm -hmm. I had, or mis um, knowledge of thinking that it was about uh, the technology mm. and. Um, and fearing uh, expansion. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So basically, it was fear of technology. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And what do you think about now? Now I'm, you understand? I'm open. Yeah. yeah. I'm willing to I learn. mean, it was really interesting how that just that one thing about the fact that you were part of Atlantis. Yes. And you saw how technology was used against the people. Misused. And now you see technology and it's like, uh, I think it's being, you know, misused, but... Really, we can do the opposite. We can use technology to spread love, too. Correct. You know? Yes. So it's like what we're doing right now. Yay! <laughs> spreading, so exciting. spreading the love and light. And yes. once you use that, I think that's that really helps understand it, yes. that you can use it. Mm -hmm. So tell everybody what you do. Um, I'm a metaphysical coach and uh, light worker and a psychotherapist and... I clear people's emotions, mm -hmm. and uh, I do the hypnosis as well, and mm -hmm. we love the work. Yeah. So, uh, 
Anna actually practiced with Dolores Cannon. She was trained long, long time ago. One of the original ones that was trained. And where are you out of? Uh, I live on Cape Cod. Yeah, so if you're looking for someone out there that can help you, right here. Mm -hmm. So now that you've experienced this, how do you feel? Because one thing is doing hypnosis, another thing yes. is, is being on the receiving end. We, we did quite a few things different than QHHT. Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. What would you say yeah. would be the difference? Um, I think it was more organic. I think it was uh, normalized the experience and uh, created greater awareness and mm -hmm. uh, intention of our inner wisdom and knowledge that we all have and that it doesn't have to be anything separate mm -hmm. or scary or anything that's yeah. outside of us. It's who we are. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So Anna has been doing the QHHT for a long time and today I totally surprised her with my own technique. So, mm -hmm. do you feel like you you did, you went in pretty deep, or I mean, your eyes were? Oh, they fluttering. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's the energy was uh, very subtle, as mm -hmm. it often is for me when I get information. Yeah. It's just um, always still. Um, I feel so humbled by it all. You channel all the time, anyway. I do. So, yeah. you're already I'm receiving this information. Coming out of the closet yeah. a little bit more. So, how did it feel? Tell people what it feels like to be in hypnosis. Um, it's just a very uh, gentle process, and uh, it's a deeper understanding of ourselves. Uh, for me, it's a deeper um understanding of my own uh, soul uh, connection and mm -hmm. uh, my greater purpose here, regardless of all the externals. Um, it's really our internal work and the subtle energies and mm -hmm. changes that happen in our bodies that I feel that's what really what we take uh, with us mm -hmm. is our growth and not much else. This is really important. <laughs> yeah. So it's fun. It's supposed to be fun. Yeah, and, and really, it's, it's really having fun with this. Hypnosis is nothing else than focused attention to what you're thinking about. Um, there's really, you're totally in control the whole time. Mm -hmm. You're just focusing on my voice, focusing on what's going on in your imagination because that's what it feels like, and just mm -hmm. saying it. That's really, yes. bottom line, what it is. There's nothing crazy about it. You're not out of control. Mm -hmm. um, you can open your eyes at any moment and walk out. It's really a very simple process. There's nothing, nothing to fear about it. It's very gentle. So if you would like a session with me, go to albawyman.com. Sign up for my newsletter at the Out of Town page. That's how um, right now I'm doing it. I'm traveling all around the world. And you can get that newsletter and click on the links for the city near you. And I hope you enjoyed this session. It was mm -hmm. really quick. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they are. I don't put some of these out there, but this was a real <laughs> short and sweet one. So I hope I get to see you sometime soon. Thank you for watching. Oh,